from uh, Lindsay Lippman over the desk. It looks like we might have uh, some more updates to add. Yeah, Matt, we have some brand new video from okay. the folks in Marlin. Uh, I have a friend who lives there, George Strickland. He's a documentary filmmaker um, as well as a motivational speaker there. So I knew he'd, he'd be able to get us some good videos, some clear, crisp video. Mm -hmm. Now he took this one first just a few minutes ago, and then you'll see a second clip that he just sent in as well, where wow. it really starts to come down. So I'm guessing that those folks now in parts of Limestone County are going to be experiencing exactly what they just saw there in Marlin. Yep. And so there are still parts and customers in Marlin uh, who are without power still. So they're still reeling a little bit from yesterday's storm damage, and now they're getting a little bit more in yep. that area. And we have sent anchor Bailey Bates into uh, that area tonight, and so we'll okay. continue to monitor any reports. But that's just the very latest from Perfect. our friend George Strickland in Marlin. Appreciate that. Yeah, very much. Th thank you, Mr. Strickland, for sending that in because it kind of gives you an idea. If you're if you're a Temple resident, and you were just watching that video. It, it looks a lot like what Temple looks like right now, with all the branches and the leaves and, and, and the, the damage across the area right now. That moved through again parts of Marlin just a few minutes ago. It has now since made its all the way. And again, we were looking at that rotation. It looked like like it was on the south side of town has now looped all the way around across Highway 14. Now you can see it's still very tight there on uh, now on the east side of 14. It's going to move into, as Lindsay just pointed out, parts of Limestone County. If you have any property, as I mentioned, in the far southwestern corner of Limestone, the far uh, southeastern corner of Falls County or uh, just along the northern edge of Robertson County, this is this is where you need to be prepared because again, we're seeing that tight little couplet again there on the east side of the highway the storm just continues to wrap itself back up. We are not seeing uh, any diminishing returns on it. We've seen it try to dissipate on us a little bit at a time, but not seeing that. So go ahead and 